Today Now, brought to you by Jack Link's Beef Jerky. Put down the chips, fatty. Everyone is talking about the incredible story of Molly, the 10-year-old girl who was raised by Wolf Blitzer. That's right, taken in as an infant, Molly then spent her whole life copying his language and behavior, becoming a kind of a half-human, half-wolf Blitzer in the process. Now, three months ago, Molly was taken into protective custody, and today she's here to share her story. Yes, she is. Molly joins us in the studio this morning alongside Dr. Kenneth Ives, the developmental psychologist who is devoting himself to her case. Good morning to you Thank both. you, uh, Jim Haggerty, Tracy Gill. Um, I really appreciate the chance to uh, talk about my rather unique upbringing. Now, Molly, you've been through so much. Are you doing okay? Well, no question, Jim. It certainly is going to be difficult for me to answer society, so I uh, am really looking forward to getting your perspective on the matter. Tracy Gill, co-host of Today Now, what's your take? Um, well, I have to admit, it's a little hard to understand her. Yeah. Yes, the only way she knows how to communicate is through Wolf Blitzer's colorless monotone. To me, always listing synonyms to words at the end of my sentences was just typical. Normal, par for the course. We are currently trying to teach her more human-like speech patterns. Right, well, it sounds like he really cared for you. Well, Jim, I think it's open to debate if Wolf Blitzer has the ability to uh, care for others. Per se, Dr. Ives might have some thoughts on that. But he's certainly protected. Uh, from what Molly has told us, it appears Wolf Blitzer raised her as if she were no different than him. Hmm. We know he fed her lattes and Altoids, uh, taught her how to clean herself with a lint roller. Amazing. You must be learning so much about the yes. life of this extremely reticent anchor. We're joined now by our chief international correspondent, Christiane Amanpour, standing uh, no, by live Molly, in Toronto. No, I think I've overwhelmed her a bit. She likes to be the Christiane, one asking the question. Christiane, what's it like on the ground? When Molly feels upset, she talks to her imaginary friend via satellite. Okay, uh -huh. stay safe down there, no, Christiane. It's sort of a coping mechanism. Oh, okay. Right? Well, it's just been so great mm -hmm. to talk Jim to you both Haggerty, this morning. Jim Haggerty, Tracy Gill. We hope to hear from you again no, very Molly, soon. I'm, I'm I guess we're done here. Right. Another breaching Molly? airport security. Molly, Are our look sky at me. safe? The eye-opening results of a new Molly, study. Stop it, Molly. Congressional Republicans. Uh, Molly, remember, you are here. Hill. You but are, are Molly. Going too far? You we'll hear from are both Molly. Sides. Oh, that's good. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Dr. Ives and Molly. Uh, make sure you look for Dr. Ives' fascinating new book about Molly. It's yeah. called Among the Wolf, and it's in bookstores right now. A lot of networks report the news as it happens, but only one has the power to report the news before it happens. Through our state-of-the-art wormhole satellite, the Onion News Network Future Channel brings you exclusive news transmissions from the year 2137. Because to stay ahead in today's world, you need to know what's going to happen in tomorrow's. Jack Link's Beef Jerky presents Messing with Sasquatch. Five feet from the hole, right here. Hey, big fella. Want a cold one? Yeah, that's it. Come on, you can do it. Jack Link's Jerky. Feed your wild side.